I want to show you some different ways uh, that you could approach this problem. When I look at it, I want to multiply the first equation by negative 2. And I would end up with negative 10x minus 2y equals negative 18. And then positive 10x minus 7y equals negative 18. I took the first equation and I multiplied it by negative 2x because I wanted to get the opposite of this 10x. You see what I've done there? I'm not going to solve it yet. I want to show you there's another way I could have started it. I could have taken the first equation and multiplied it times 7. And I would have gotten 35x plus 7y <laughs> equals 63. Then I would line up the second equation. In my first example, I'm going to be eliminating the x term. In the second example, I'm going to be eliminating the y term. There are some people who like to do this and change both equations. Like, what if we wanted to make the x term 50x and one was positive and one was negative? If I was going to do that, I would multiply this by negative 10. And I would multiply this by 5. And let's see what it would end up looking like. Negative 50x minus 10y equals negative 90. 50x minus 35y equals, I don't know, negative 18 times 5 in my head. It is negative 90. All three of these are taking those first two equations and changing something so that I can eliminate. All of them are right ways to start the problem. We're going to end up with the same x, y at the end no matter which one we start with. Which one do you want me to go further? Should we do that crazy 50 and 50? These are going to eliminate. I'm going to end up with negative 45y is equal to negative 180. 180 divided by 45 gives us 4. So y equals 4. Let's try it with this one. Negative 10x and positive 10x zeroes out, where is eliminated. Negative 2y and negative 7y is negative 9y. Negative 18 and negative 18 is negative 36. I get y is equal to 4. Even though these two sets look different, we ended up with the same solution. <clears throat> Let me take... solve it. I'm going to rewrite it on a different dry erase. Y 
What's going to get eliminated this time? Sell this. Mr. Greg needs you. All right, so this is going to end up being 45x is equal to 63 minus 18 is 45. X equals 1. So from our other page, we got y equals 4. So the solution to this is going to be 1, 4. That's one of the things that I really like about elimination. It is not my favorite way. I prefer using substitution to solve these when I can't graph. But I do like that you can do a lot of different things with elimination. And you make the numbers things you want to work with. 